a new outbreak of dangerous fire ants is threatening agriculture and livestock in New South Wales. The species is spread nearly 100 kilometres from the Queensland border in less than two months. Jeff Pye's farm sits near the banks of the Richmond River in the heart of the New South Wales cane industry. He's fought through floods and drought, but now he's facing a new threat, fire ants. Very costly if we cannot uh, cut our cane. So if we get a delay in the season, um, and then we're cutting our cane too late, then we won't get the growth that we require. Jeff is a fourth generation sugarcane and soybean farmer, still recovering from the Lismore floods in 2022. We're going to need a fair bit of time to get back on top of things. So, uh, like, we need the seasons to go with us, and this little fire ant episode's not helping things out either. 25 kilometres from his property, fire ants have been discovered in Wardell at a temporary housing village for flood survivors. The nest has been destroyed and a five kilometre biosecurity zone has been set up. But Jeff fears if the invasive species leaks and creeps closer, it'll block transporting produce. Once you've burnt your cane, you've probably only got, you know, three or four days that it needs to be at the mill before it starts going off. The ant's bite can be fatal to humans, pets and livestock. Well, I suppose you could, you could lose a thousand, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of livestock if they really, they really were aggressive. It's the second time the fire ants have been detected in New South Wales, marching nearly 100 kilometres from the Queensland border in two months. Six nests were discovered in South Mwilumba in November. The New South Wales Department of Industries are investigating where these ants came from and how long they've been in Waddell for. It's likely they were brought in either in the materials used to construct the village or in the materials used in the gardening, in the garden bed where the fire ant nest was found. There's also growing concern severe weather events lashing parts of Queensland could be accelerating the spread. If they, if they continue to move with water uh, then, and they end up in the Murray-Darling system, well, it's right through the heartland of regional New South Wales and agriculture, which would be catastrophic. The outbreak could cost the economy up to $2 billion a year if it gets out of control. Nearly all states and the federal government have locked in nearly $600 million in funding for a four-year response plan, a figure the Invasive Species Council says isn't enough. And eradicating fire ants will take up to a decade and will take at least twice as much money as has been committed so far. I think that uh, maybe they haven't been taken seriously enough and um, it's time to spend the money and get them under control. Lauren Forbes... Sky News.